think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. If I should call you up. That's, of course, the Turtles uh, singing uh, Mark Volman and Howard Kalin, the, the Turtles. Like I said, we were going to have my ex boss with us, Mark Volman. A.K.A. Professor Flo, he's on the phone with us. Mark, how are you? Hey, hi, Dave. How are you? I'm doing great. I know you're out on tour. I know you're out in California. By the way, i got to bring something up. I was just going through my finances. I went back. Uh, I had to do my taxes from a number of years ago, and it, 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 this item came up, and it looks like you owe me money. You didn't pay me for the Detroit <laughs> date. Where's my money? I, all right. And I'd be happy to do it as long as you can, uh, you know, prove that. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't, don't think I can. So, Mark, <laughs> you're out on the, you're out on tour. Uh, first, tell me how the how's the tour going? Uh, it's going really good, Dave. Uh, we're doing uh, about close to sixty shows this year, which is a uh, jump up from last year. We did forty three, but we've uh, we've played about twenty one cities, and uh, fortunately. We're having really good audience uh, involvement. We've had about 18 sellouts. Uh, but what we did this year was scale down the size of the theaters. And, and instead of going up, we kind of went down and are playing much nicer <laughs> venues. Like tonight is 1,800, 1800 seats. And uh, we've got about uh, about fifteen or 1,600 expected so that that's a good uh, you know uh coverage for us who's that on the road it's mark who's that on the road with you uh for this tour this year uh this year we have gary lewis and the playboys uh prominently known for the song this diamond ring <laughs> uh but gary also had seven songs he was the first american artist to have seven number one records or seven top ten records in a row uh, back in 1960s and then 60s. And then uh, Mark Lindsay, the original lead singer with Paul Revere and the Raiders, um, uh, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap, uh, Chuck Negron, lead singer from Three Dog Night, and then the Turtles uh, kind of tie all the loose ends up at the end. So. You know, Mark, when I, when I was out on the road with you, and, and I, I played by, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I, I was on, on the road with the Turtles for probably a, a little more than a decade, if I remember correctly. One of the things that struck me was that, yeah, when we, when we played the theaters, uh, sure, it was the older crowds, you know, that, that were there. But, you know, Mark, you, you're still doing state fairs. And I remember when we did them, you know, we, the kids would come up and they would just flood the stage asking for autographs and they were having a great time. Well, first I want to address uh, the first issue, and yes, you did play with us for quite a long time, and as a matter of fact, when I think of the, you know, zero point of what I'm looking for every time I'm looking for a guitarist, you were not uh, a problem. You were actually one of the best guitarists that we ever did Wow, have. thank you. So I, don't, I don't want the people listening to you on on money talk or what, whatever you call this, to, to think you just were a fly-by-night musician. You were an excellent player, and uh, you you did a fabulous job. I hated to lose you when you when you finally left the group. I hated but, I hated leaving, Mark. I got to tell you, I, you know why I left. I had to leave for yeah. obvious reasons. Uh, we'll talk about it another time. But something's different about this tour, you know. And I, I hinted at it earlier, the AKA Professor Flo. You know, one of the things I left out in the intro. Not only are you a founding member of the Turtles, you're a professor at Belmont University. What are you doing on this tour? Tell tell the audience about it. Well, it's, last year I came up with an idea for a summer school class which would bring 10 students in their own tour bus out on the road with the Happy Together Tour, and it worked so well last year for us that the producers of the show helped me put it together again for this year. And so we have 10 students from the College of Entertainment and Music Business at Belmont uh, out doing all of the different jobs. What I did is I created a, a job grid of the 
seven or eight jobs out on the road, everything from selling merchandise to stage management, <laughs> tour manager, lights, sound, monitors, um, and uh, every day a student gets an assignment and they uh, basically work with one of the members of the crew that day to learn and are mentor mentored by one of the uh, staff on the tour. And so once they get through the jobs, seven or eight jobs, then it spins around again. And then now uh, they're at the point where they're actually negotiating for jobs because some of them are very interested in certain parts of the tour. And so what I've uh, tried to do is set it up so they could negotiate uh, by trading jobs, and uh, the person who might want to really do merchandise can choose for the last three or four days of the tour uh, to just do the job that they really want to do. And um, it's been a fantastic experience, not just for the students, but it's been a fantastic experience for all of the members of the tour. Everybody has just really loves having the students out with us. They work uh, very hard. And, um, Mark, are they actually help. are they actually on the tour bus? Are they getting that experience of being on the road? Yeah, they have their own bus. So we actually travel with three buses, and one of the buses is a Belmont University bus, and that keeps them. Uh, I have an assistant out on the road with me, a fellow named Lucas, and Lucas uh, rides with him on the bus, and so he sort of decompresses the day. <laughs> They sit down, and one of the fun things for the students, uh, hopefully it's fun, is every day at 4 o'clock we do a class. In I was going to ask you that. So, Are you actually holding yeah. class out there? Yeah, I do a class every day, uh, and each day I present a different a part of a real tour. Uh, one day I brought in a guy named Chris Lucky who was the program director at uh, the radio station that co-produced the show. Uh, I brought in uh, people who do catering for the concert. So what we do is we introduce them to uh, tons of opportunities out in the industry that are available by bringing in people who have all, you know, at one time or other probably wanted to play music but found that they did better and being around entertainment uh, by doing other jobs that they were able to create for themselves. So it, it says to the student, you know, if you don't survive in as a player and a performer, there are a lot of ways that you can be around the excitement of touring. You know, Mark, I, I, I wanted to ask you this question. I know the answer to it, of course, uh, having played with you for, for as many years as I have. Uh, but... I'm sure you get this all the time. I'm sure reporters ask you and, and Howard this every single day on the tour, but what keeps it fresh and alive for you, you know, singing Happy Together and Eleanor and all the big hits each, each time? You've done it thousands of times. What keeps it new for you? Uh, that's a good question, and, and I, w I wish I had a really good answer. <laughs> really Mark, good you're letting me down. I was but, counting on a really great answer no, no. here. No, no, I, I, I think, you know, uh, not to sound, you know, heartless or something, but, you know, a big part of it is that, you know, we're at a time in our life, Howard and I have been together 51 years. Wow. And um, a, a part of the reason we love to do this is economically, it's finally feasible to earn a living doing it for, for ourselves. And and so, yes, that, that plays a big part, but... Uh, I know Howard would answer exactly with what I'm I I'm sure he would. I am sure. You destroy, you're destroying the, the myth of rock and roll <laughs> right before my very eyes in front of millions well, of people. <laughs> Mark, I one... Think, I, think, I think if we didn't still love it and still enjoy, that hour on stage is really the most fantastic still. I mean, the energy that we share with the audience and what we get back. It's very hard at this time. We don't have planes like you, too. You know, we don't. <laughs> we, 
we drive everywhere, and so uh, the travel. Well, that's the way it used to be. That, that that you know that that's the real rock and roll. One last question, Mark, and and keep in mind this is a family show, okay? Of course, Mark. Of course. This is a family show, okay? <laughs> is anybody still handing out the turtle pins? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, turtle pins we pass out everywhere we go. It's an immediate. Uh, it's an immediate connection. Yes, but different and, turtle uh, pin colors have different meanings for people. Well, yes. <laughs> but we, we kind of keep that. Uh, if you get a, a certain color, it opens up the backstage. Yeah. Okay, it, it's a family <laughs> show. We can leave it. We can leave it there, Mark. Mark, enjoy the rest of the tour. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, you, you. I wish you all the luck. And all my love to you, and uh, take care of yourself, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, Mark. We'll be in touch real soon. Thank you.